Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. And salutations to all the brothers who are out here making their bodies a living sacrifice, preaching his word, trying to bring in the very elect from the four corners of the earth. Um, today I want to talk about um, Esau and how he's um, making um, this commercial that I've seen on um, on the web. And um, Esau is in his drawers holding this little um, Israelite child. And um, there's no reason for Esau to be holding this child in his arms. Um, in his drawers. It's not his child. And um, this just shows how much of a pedophile and, 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 and faggot Esau is. And um, the first script that I like to go into is um, let's go to um, Romans 3 and 3. And um, you know what? Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the brothers around the four corners of the earth, preaching this word with sincerity and truth. Um, I'd like to go into this um, this video that I've seen on the web of um, Esau and his underwear with this little uh, Israelite baby. And he's um, in his drawers. And the um, premise of the commercial is, is show them your jockey. And um, this just goes to show you, show you how big of a um, pervert and um, pedophile that um, Esau really is. And um, the first scripture I'd like to go into is um, Isaiah 3 and 9. It says, The show of their countenance do witness against them, and they declare their sin is Sodom, they hide it not. Woe unto their souls, because they reward themselves, for they have rewarded an evil unto themselves. And um, Esau is constantly pushing this gay agenda. Just the other day, um, a brother had showed a video of um, an Edomite in Africa. Um, matter of fact, it was a, a, um, a, a photographer who had sodomized a um, giraffe. This is how they just going overboard with this stuff. National Geographic. And um, it's ridiculous. The, 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 um, the, the length that Esau is going to to push this um, agenda. And um, go back to this little baby, you know. This, this goes back into slavery when they... Um, cast lots for us because this white man, you know, he got this baby. I don't know whose baby this is, but he holding it in his arms like it's his child. And um, we go into Joel 3 and 3, they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. And we know that he is a pedophile. So if he has no problem messing with little kids, um, that's where that Nambla comes in at. And um, other um, groups that Esau has deemed legal here on here in America and abroad, where they can do whatever they want with children and um, animals and anything else that they deem fit, they they stick their rod into anything. It, it just don't make no sense. Um, going to um, Romans one and. 31. Um, it goes on, without understanding covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful. And you got to be unmerciful if you're sticking your rod into a baby. A male child, female child, any anybody that's under the age of consent, you, you are, you, you're doing too much. Um, other groups have deemed great, tried to... Um, bear false witness against the men of Great Millstone saying that we are pedophiles. That, that is untrue. No one at, in, this, in, in Great Millstone has ever touched a child. And um, we don't get down like that. 
Um, but Esau will do that, and he's showing it right here in this commercial. He has no problem taunting the people with the fact that he has this baby in his arm. And this may not be his child, it's just a commercial, but this is going on across America, period. This, this white man is into little children. This is what he does. He, he, he's, he's a natural brute beast. He's just gross. Um, we go to Mark um, 7 and 20. Um, and he said, That which cometh out of a man, that defiles a man. For within, out of his, the heart of man, proceedeth evil thoughts, adulterers, fornicators, murderers, thieves, covenants, wickedness, deceit, lascivious, and, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. And when you go back up here, these evil thoughts, Esau has very evil thoughts when it comes to what he wants to do to people in general. He, uh, with his rod or torture, you got Donald Trump talking about opening up more black sites um, across the globe to send people to these um, FEMA camps. But he's going to send them across the globe. You, you don't know where you may end up when, this, um, when Jacob's trouble finally arrives in full steam. Because this man is determined to um, bring torture back, even though it's uh, other Edomites saying they don't want it back. And their fear is Edomites are going to be tortured as well. This is the brain reason why he don't want to bring, uh, they don't want to bring torture into the picture. Um, but Esau is a, a lover of those types of things. That, that's what he does. He just, he's just wicked like this. I'm going to go to um, 2 Timothy. Um, read and um, <clears throat> start at two. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, and we know that. Esau is all of those things that they're without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. And definitely America in general is a lover of pleasure. People in America love to be pleased and pleasured. Um, Esau, this this how wicked he is, he thinks that Sticking his rod in a baby is pleasurable. That's why they want to bring pedophilia and make pedophilia, pedophilia legal. They get pleasure out of torturing children. This is this is this man right here. This this man right here standing here with, in his underwear with this black baby, kissing this black baby. There's no reason for this commercial. You, you, you could have just did with a normal commercial when y'all just standing in y'all goddamn drawers. But you got to have a black child with you standing in your drawers. You, 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 you one clothing item away from being naked with this child. What is, what is this? Why does this have to even, there's no, no reason for this. But this is Esau at his finest. And, um, there's people that that are accepting this. This is this is this is this is very nasty. This is an abomination. Period. You know, but this is es Esau. He has evil thoughts. He has evil intentions. He actually thinks that he gets some kind of magic out of um, the, the the rectum of a little boy. This is what we've been told that they they think they get magic from this. So they out here showing that this is what they do, and um, that they have no they have no problem up with it. Um, this is Deuteronomy 23 and 17. There shall be no whores of the daughters of Israel, nor sodomites of the sons of Israel, and that's what Esau's been doing to us since we have been over here in America trying to make sodomites and sodomizing the men of Israel. Um, they called it buck breaking back in those days, where they would take a um, a grown man 
and rape him in front of his children and his wife, buck breaking, which is, he sodomized this man in front of his people to demean him and lower him, put him in a lower state where the people would not uh, not only listen to or, or, or respect him, but it would degrade this man to the fullest. And this is what Esau is doing right here. This this is a form of early buck breaking. This this has to stop. Yahweh Bashim El Shah will put an end to this. Um, you got grown men who who have been raped, but they don't condone it. You got um, Don Lemon who wrote, wrote a book on how he was um, molested as a child. But you think that man would would um, speak out firmly against child molestation? But no, he is a confirmed proud sodomite. So Esau is at his tricks again in this commercial, which is about 20, 30 seconds long, and um, you see him right here with this child, and um, your how about Shemal Shah is going to make y'all pay for this, man, plain and simple. All right, I hope this has been um, edifying. Um, I'd like to give all praises to your how about Shemal Shah and to the um, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the brothers out there pushing the word, trying to gather in the let. Um, shalom.